Now, the use of plants as medicine can be traced back to the earliest human civilizations, but there's a growing list of animals, too, known to seek out their healing characteristics. Tapping into this could one day help development treatments, develop treatments for all of us. The problem is how to identify the wheat from the chaff, or rather what's medically useful from the vast forest floor. Now, scientists say the solution may be simply to watch and wait for the native experts. Pascal is eating ferns. Pascal is a male from one of two chimp communities scientists from Oxford University have been observing in Uganda. He has an injury on his hand at the moment. In a jungle where only the fittest survive, it appears he's learned to self-medicate. He's eating the wood. Selecting plants which have pain relieving or antibacterial properties. Chimps have their diet and they stick to it relatively. And several of these plants are very, very rarely consumed. So the fact that these sick or injured chimpanzees were seeking out these rare plants at this specific time and other group members sitting nearby didn't seek them out, one can read intentionality into that. Did Kutu have any sort of injury when she was eating it? Over four years, scientists observed the physical and bowel movements of chimps and then collected samples of the strange plants the sick ones had sought out. That's very unusual, right? Of 53 plants samples analysed, 43 had anti-inflammatory or antibacterial properties. Particularly potent was a species called Alstonia brunei. Humans have been harnessing the medicinal power of plants like these here at Chelsea Physic Garden for hundreds of years, and yet there are thousands of species we still know relatively little about. And with two in five plants worldwide now endangered, the question is, can chimps help us find new medications before they go extinct? My opinion is 100% yes. Fabian is the scientist tasked with analyzing samples in Germany. There are more than 38,000 plants that are recorded to be used medicinally. Only very few of these, maybe like 4%, have ever been looked at under the lens of modern science. So there's so much to discover. With the rise of antibiotic resistance, not to mention the threat of pandemics, new medicines are vital. For us and for them, then, it's essential we preserve these forest pharmacies. Martin Stew, News at 10.